guys, this is Danny with Danny Aquatics. UPS just dropped me off a package. I ordered a uh, new HOB. Uh, I think it's a 110. And uh, and then I ordered another little wave maker. I need actually a new a, a new wave maker for this the one in our bedroom, the 150 gallon in our bedroom. Uh, I just it's it's a real cheapy one. I had to redo the bracket on it. And that's, it's just a little uh, sheet of stainless that I have set up so I can hang it, but it's too high still, and it draws a funnel of air, and so sometimes it's squirting up bubbles everywhere in here, so I need to get that one off, and uh, let's open this up, and let's see what we got, guys. And I didn't bring my stand in here, so I'm going to cut this open with one hand. See what I can do. I didn't even bring my knife. I'm using some scissors. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. It's uh, Seekin. What is that? How does he pronounce that? Uh. I know Cishe, I, <laughs> I believe, I guess. But uh, let me see. This is the wave maker I've put in a couple of other tanks. It works really good. And it's got a real powerful little magnet. And this one is rated at. This is the FS 130. Let me see here. 130 is rated at about a thousand gallons per hour basically 1056 to be exact on here and that would be plenty because in, in this tank here I really don't want too too much current I already have an FX6 and then I have the polishing uh, filter that uh, works on this top side I got just a uh, Jabos I think it's a Jabos 1000 uh, 2000 or something like that but it doesn't push a lot I think it's something like about maybe three maybe three to five hundred gallons uh, per hour it's not a lot but it's just something to polish up the water and uh, have it set up with those canister house canister filters underneath there with uh, polyfill so let's get this thing out of here and see what I got here it was a, the title it's called the Tidal uh, 110. And this one is actually going to go into the Abuna tank that has a, uh, what is it called? Uh, a Marine Land Empress 400. And it's been in there for about a year and a half. And. I really liked them at first because it's got the little bio wheels and sometimes the one wheel's not turning, the other one's not turning. And then the motors are actually on the outside of the aquarium. And I saw quite a few videos on this one here. I was going to do just the 75, the, the title set one, uh, 75, but I said, you know what, I'm going to do overkill and put the 110 on there because the, let me see what the flow rate is on this one. Um, uh, uh, for uh, for up, up to a, so I'm gonna be putting it on a 55 gallon tank, so it's got a 450 gallons per hour flow rate. So that's gonna really help to uh, help it cycle that water, in, uh, turn it around. Probably about more like eight to ten to ten to one time. So. I'll be installing this and I'll have it on another video or part of this video but for now I'm just uh, getting this package opened up and uh, we'll see what what comes of this and uh, we'll get this going we'll open it up see what we got in here and it's got a big thick instruction book don't need that I'm sure I will but let me see here. I have to turn this over and this one. 
dump it out. It'll be easier. All right. This thing is backwards. It has some. Turn the light on here. It has some blue sponge at the bottom. These actually have what I've seen. It has a tray, a removable tray that you can take out, and it's got plenty of room. Because the other, the other uh, HOB that I have, it has two bags of uh, the ceramic. Uh, what are they called? It's just ceramic media. This one actually comes with a bag of Seachem um, Matrix, probably. So that's going to be good. That'll be going in there. And then the little, it's got the little hardware and the little spigot. And the rest of it is in here, more likely. These are going to be your your intakes. <coughs> Pardon me. So this thing's going to be really awesome. It has a skimmer also. I'm not sure if you can actually adjust that. But it has a place to put your heater in here as well. But uh, I'm going to just leave the external heater the way, I mean, internal heaters the way they are. But uh, I think it's pretty cool. I like this. And this one has actually, it has, when, I guess when it starts getting full, this thing starts to come up. And it lets you know that it's time to, you, you're, in other words, your filtration, probably in this corner, the water's overflowing. And it's time to uh, change your filters and stuff out, your sponges, whatever you have for polishing up this thing. But this thing's supposed to come right out. So I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look at that, see how that comes up. I don't know if these little blue deals are, oh, it is. So you slide this back and forth. And that'll keep the tray from coming up. So you move that out. Now you can slide the tray on. And what I thought I had heard. Let me see. I think you have to turn this over. Yes. No. Maybe not. I don't know. I thought they said that this thing actually fits into here. Yeah. Sure it does. Cool. So you don't want to cause too much of a spill. You can carry it like that. And... Uh, I guess to keep it from falling over and stuff so that that fastens on to the lid as well so that's pretty cool but that'll be going on there and then I'll be putting some more media and uh, we'll plug this thing in get it all hooked up take the other one out and uh, just move the uh, bio media that I have the sponge filters and stuff that I have in that other one and put them in here and then just turn this one on and the thing is this motor is going to be underwater and it'll be a lot quieter the problem I'm having with the uh, marine land one is it makes a lot of noise and it takes a lot to get it quiet sometimes so and it's kind of annoying in the living room so I'm hoping this one will, will be pretty quiet so we'll see alrighty guys we'll uh, keep going and um, we'll move over to the uh, aquarium the 55 gallon Ambuna tank and uh, we'll continue to change this out alrighty guys this is the marine land empress 400 that's going to be coming out and right now it's actually not making a lot a lot of noise but it is noisy and that little annoying rumbling is all night long so and it's kind of nasty there but we're gonna remove that, unplug it. We've got everything kind of set up on the ground here. I got a bucket, got a little towel. Just I know I'll make a mess all the time. So we're gonna get that off. So I'm gonna come down here and unplug this up. And I think I remember which one it was. There it is. That's the one. Nice and quiet now. Alrighty, bear with me. I'm going to remove this and then uh, get it out of the way and then we'll drop the other one in. I measured it. We have plenty of space to move the other one into place. Alright guys, I got it back into place here and everything fit perfect in here. 
I even added, it's, it comes with a little uh, wheel, little shaft, so you can level the, the actual unit. So it, it lays where it's not tilted back or t tilting forward too much. So I got it set just right. So I'm going to do, I got all the biomedia, all this is going, all this is going back into it. Into this container because that's really important to put back in here. I want to make sure all that gets put back in. And then I had a couple of sponges that I'm going to probably drop right back on top of that, like I had. And that's going to be about it. And Everything else is going to stay in here. I'm going to clean that other one up, put it up, and keep it just for a backup, just in case. And uh, But I'm hoping this thing will be a lot quieter than the other one was. So <coughs> I'm sorry. I've got these opened up all the way. The bottom one as well. The bottom one actually allows the flow. Let me turn this light off. It's still kind of hard to see. But it allows the flow to come up through there. At uh, if you cut that, if you restrict, you can actually restrict the flow. So I got it wide open. Alrighty, I'm gonna attempt to plug this in and see if it'll actually start and fill it up. I'm not sure if I should fill it up prior, but uh, since the pump is underwater, it should start it up. It should probably prime on its own. We'll plug it in and we'll see. If not, we'll just unplug it real quick. Nope, it filled it up. So, the water level is coming up. There we go. And it's running, guys. Wow. That is super quiet. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, so didn't take much and uh, should have a pretty decent flow now with this thing running the way it is and uh, we'll just let it go from there. I got all the media and everything back into place and uh, let me get the top tray real quick. Alright, this thing just, let's see, oh, just falls right into place, that's it. And that's it. It's running. It's set up. Ready to go. It's rocking and rolling. And it's got a good water flow. And it's enormous water flow coming through there. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, guys. Just a quick change on the uh, uh, HOB on the back of the 55 gallon Abuna tank. And I think these guys are going to like it because it's a lot quieter, especially in the living room. So I might do one of the other ones as well. If I get a little bit extra later on, I'll order me another one. And probably change out all the marine lands with the Sea Kim Sea Shea. And I mean, this is a larger one because this is actually for at least 100 gallon, anywhere from 75 gallon to 110 gallon tank. So, but for 55, it's going to be really, should be really doing good. So, all right, guys, we all have a good day. Thank you for joining me, and y'all have a blessed day. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.